Nystagmus is an eye condition which makes the eyes move uncontrollably. If you keep looking straight, it will be a little bit bright. Nystagmus is actually quite common. Around one in a thousand people are born with nystagmus or are born with a condition which means they will get nystagmus as an infant. Hello, Jake. Hi, John. Good to see you. Come in. One of my big roles is helping people, providing support, information, and that can be to a parent who's just had a newly diagnosed child, or it can be an adult who's just found out they've got acquired nystagmus. Hello, Nystagmus Network. There are so many questions that are unanswered about nystagmus, like what causes it? How does it affect us? Really good. Of the children and adults that I see, around half we never find a cause, and of the other half, those would broadly be people who have a retinal disease, and one of the more common conditions is forms of albinism, where the body doesn't produce as much pigment as it should. Now I'm going to ask you to keep your head still just for a moment and follow the pen with your eyes. If you do get the right help, the right support, the right information early on after the diagnosis, that can really transform people's lives for the better. Lots of the children that I see in my clinic do very well at school. I have a number of children who are very high flying and are going to the top universities in the land, they're getting very high highfalutin jobs and one common message that I like to give to parents is that just because your child has nystagmus does not mean that they can't achieve in their life. We feel really passionate about research. What we do is provide volunteers to take part in the research. Hello John. Hi John, nice Good to see to you. Good to see you Come too. on in. Come on. Come on. Here in Cardiff, our main area of investigation is the impact of this wobbly eye movement on people's perception. How does it affect what they see and how they see? So just make yourself comfortable there. Now this device in front of you is going to track the movement of your eyes in real time. We're trying to come up with better measures of visual function than simply an eye chart. So if you could just naturally stare straight ahead, we're now gonna present you with a set of stimuli. A volunteer will come in, we'll ask them to sit in front of a device, and we then display different visual tasks, and we then look at how they respond with their eyes. Intuitively, you might assume that if your eyes are wobbling all the time, that you aren't able to see things clearly. And yet, vision, as measured by an eye chart in an optometrist's office, doesn't really change, even if the eye movements change very dramatically. And yet, people with nystagmus report that their vision is worse, that it takes them longer to see things, and that time to see element could be the missing factor in our understanding of nystagmus. What's the first thing that comes into your mind as to how nystagmus affects you on a, on a daily basis? Whenever there was a lot of reading, it might take me two or three days longer than everyone else to maybe read a play or read a book. Until recently, it was thought that nystagmus is just about visual acuity. But we've shown that it's about much more than reduced vision. It's about how nystagmus affects every aspect of everyday life. I really struggled with trying to put across what a nystagmus is and how it does affect me. And the feeling of standing out from other people and, and being different from the norm, in particular with the eyes moving, making eye contact is a big, big issue for people that have nystagmus. I would say in terms of meeting new people, there's, there's no problems, it's just they will ask a lot of questions, oh why are your eyes moving, or can you do that again, sort of thing. In terms of hopes for the future, it's important to raise awareness. People may see people with nystagmus and think there's something not quite right with their eyes, but they still don't understand what the condition is and the impact that it has on everyday life. My hope for the future is that we get to the bottom of diagnosis for as many patients as we can. Our hope for the future is that we'd like to see better treatments and possibly even a cure or prevention for nystagmus. We're hoping that we can get to a much better fundamental understanding of the causes of nystagmus, then we might have a realistic hope of finding ways to stop it from happening altogether.